Hello everyone, it's your girl Tuli. This time we're playing Grim Fandango. Now this is one of my all-time favorite games. It's a point-and-click adventure from LucasArts back in the 90s, and this is the remastered version by Double Fine Studios, and I think they did a fantastic job at remastering the art. All the backgrounds and the rendering engine has been overhauled. And all in all, this is just one of the most atmospheric and cool-looking games that I've ever played. So without further ado, let's just click on a new game. That LucasArts logo turning into the skeleton is so clever. Sorry for the wait, Mr. Flores. I am ready to take you now. Uh-oh. Take me? Take me where? Now, now. There's no need to be nervous. Nervous? No. It's just your appearance. It's a little intimidating. Intimidating? Me? But I'm your friend. My name's Manny Calavera. Hello, Manny. I'm your new travel agent. I don't want a new travel agent. I want to go home. <laughs> you can't go home, Celso. You're dead. Aww. But you're not alone. Everybody here is just as dead as you. That doesn't seem encouraging to Celso. Are you ready for your big journey? No. Poor guy. What journey? The four-year journey of the soul. It is quite a big trip. And I can't lie to you, Celso. It could be very, very dangerous. Unless you were to take that money you were buried with and buy a better travel package from us. <laughs> <laughs> Capitalism never dies. The land of the dead in your own sports car? Maybe try a luxury ocean cruise? Or, if you led a very good life, you may even be eligible for a ticket on the number nine itself. The number nine? That's our top of the line express train. It shoots straight to the ninth underworld, the land of eternal rest, in four minutes instead of four years. But very few people qualify. Let's take a look at your records. Hmm? Mm. How do you go on negative? Like, what? You have to pay him? The bad news is the train appears to be just out of your reach, but I still got a couple of tricks up my sleeve here. Mm hmm. Yeah, ha! Yes, that's the ticket. The Excelsior Line. Yes, she's a beauty. That compass in the handle will sure come in handy, too. <laughs> oh, Gee, you're going thanks. to have a great trip. Wish I was going. Why don't you? You could give me a lift. Oh, I can't leave here until I've worked off a little debt to the powers that be. Community service, eh? Well, I guess there are some folks worse off than me. Oh, I'll be leaving here soon enough. No thanks to dead and no commission low-life cases like yours, Menso. Oh, that's mean. Hey, Manny, the boss told me to tell you not to leave early tonight. He wants to talk to you about something when he gets back from his trip. Tell Don not to worry. I'm not going anywhere. Especially not with Premium clients. clients. Like <laughs> and it's a closet. Where do they get these guys? They don't qualify for anything good, so I can't sell anything good. I can't work off my time, and I'm stuck. Stuck selling walking sticks to a bunch of burros for eternity. I need better clients. I need a real saint. I need a lead on a rich, dead saint. Hmm. ¿Qué es esto? This end cabin is where I hang my cloak. I wonder if he had that end cabinet added to his file cabinet or if he just always had a secret closet there because he knew he was never going to have premium clients. So the way this game works is uh, you point and click and then you do stuff. And right clicking brings up this context menu whenever there's something to interact with the cursor turns into this explodey star shape. And if you right click you can choose between pick up, look at and use. And then down here we have our inventory button. And we can examine the item that we're currently selecting. My scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. Ha! <laughs> it's a deck of cards. A deck of cards. Better take these cards. It looks like a long day of solitaire for me. Looks like I got a message. A message in a bottle. 
Wait, he took out the paper, but the paper still it's stuck. Some sort of special work order. To all agents from office manager Don Copel. All right, you boneheads. Thank you, lucky stars, and get to your friggin' cars. We have a mass poisoning on our hands. Too many dead to assign specific cases, so all clients are first come, first serve. So let's see some hustle out there. Whatever you say, Hiffy. Okay, so mass poisoning. Domino's door is locked. Probably scared I'll steal one of his files. Not a bad idea, actually. So Domino's our co-worker. And here's Eva, our secretary. Or not our secretary, it's the boss's secretary, but we still like to think that she's our secretary. Buenos dias. Manny, why aren't you at the poisoning? What poisoning? The code three gazpacho poisoning that everybody's after. Gazpacho you? poisoning. Why do I send out memos if nobody reads them? Where was the poisoning again? Just ask your driver for crying out loud. He'll know. Any messages for me? Besides the one about the poisoning? Yeah. I only have one other message for you, Manny. I'm not your secretary. I <laughs> don't take is. your messages. So get it through your thick skull and stop forwarding your phone to me. All right. I have a phone. But that sounded more like four messages to me. Busy as ever, I see. I'd have more work to do if you had more clients. Ouch. Yeah, ouch. Well, I gotta go hit the bricks. Okay, you show those bricks a lesson. So I need to go talk to my driver and figure out how I'm gonna get to the poisoning late. Bye. Well, that's a neat way of storing cars. Here's what I need. Wheels. Hey, service. Hey, who the? Gladys. Oh, sorry, sir. I didn't expect the sales agents usually don't come over to this part of the garage. Gladys is my favorite. Hey, you a driver? Me? Ha! No, 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 no. I don't ride them. Just wrench them. I'm Calavera. Manny Calavera. My name's Gladys. I don't get many visitors. Hey! I got a message for a Mr. Calavera. Uh, your driver said that Mr. Hurley said that he could have the rest of the day off. Domino sent my driver home? Yeah, wasn't that nice? Looks like I need a new driver. Oh! oh. I, uh, I, He's so uh, excited. I would agree with that. Yes, you do. You want to be my replacement driver? Me? Oh, oh, no, sorry, can't, rules. So Gladys is a demon, a native to the underworld, and I think it's kind of fitting that this game kind of commentates on the treatment of indigenous people in the way that the demons are just kind of servants and janitors and kind of low-paying job kind of people because they don't have to go anywhere. The people who come here, they're actually going somewhere, or at least they think they are, so they've kind of continued with their previous social hierarchy from the land of the living and just <laughs> colonized and enslaved this land of the dead that used to belong to the demons. Gladys? Gladys? Is that a German name? Oh no, my roots lie not in any earthly nation's soil. I am an elemental spirit summoned up from the land of the dead itself and given one purpose, one skill, one desire to drive! Or to change oil and adjust timing belts if no driving jobs are open. Ah. <laughs> Come on, Gladys. I need you to be my driver. Yeah, no, I know you wanna. I can't. I'm... I'm... I'm too big. No, Gladys. You're not too big. The cars are just too small. Yeah, those dang compact cars. Hey, that gives me an idea. I could alter your car just a 
bit with just a quick torch job to yes. the seams, you know? Power to the people. I'm, I'm not allowed to modify the cars without a work order from upstairs. I could lose my job. A work order, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't torch anything bigger than a cigarette without one of these signed by the boss himself. Hey, hey, hey. that's my line. Getting people to sign. Back in a snap. Yeah, too small. I'm not too big. Everything around here is just too small. Okay, so we need to get the boss to sign that paper so we can have Gladys drive our car. Eva, I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copel, I've got Manny Calavera out here to see you. Didn't I say no interruptions today? Eh, sorry, Cal. Maybe tomorrow. That's too late. Oh, yeah, like you're going anywhere. I can't find my driver. Manny, do I have to explain your job to you again? No, I just want to know where my driver is. Do you want me to have him paged? Yes. Then get Don to stop being such a cheapskate and install a paging system. You're just going to have to troll the carpool until you find a demon with a driver's license. Yeah, but Gladys is the only demon down there. Why do I have to use a demon for a driver? Only demons can operate the cars. If the company let you guys drive, you'd all be AWOL in 10 minutes. <laughs> I'll be there. Okay, so the boss won't sign our... Or he won't return Eva's call, so... Big Mr. Boss Man doesn't want to be disturbed today. Ah. <sighs> The music in this game is so good. And the environmental sounds and everything. All the little sound effects here and there make it feel really kind of believable. But there's a parade going on. Hey, what's going down, clown? Hey, back off, suit. I'm practicing. Practicing what? Ring in your neck. What does it look like? <laughs> Why's everybody got such an attitude? Twist me up one of them, huh, fella? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twist this, all right? Can I walk through your tent? I want to yeah, see let me way. see the balloons. Well, walk through someone else's tent, all right? Do I look like a turnstile to you? Bet you can't do a cat. Shows what you know, buddy. I can do anything. I can do birds, amphibians, famous poets. Go ahead, name one. <laughs> Robert Frost. Robert Frost. Trying to stump me, eh? <laughs> Ta-da! This doesn't look anything like Robert Frost. The bread of the dead. Bread of the dead, wow, that sounds ominous. Since I really didn't get to celebrate the festival this year, I think I'm entitled to a little pan de muertos. Okay, so there's a rope hanging down. <laughs> a rope made entirely out of ties. It looks like a rope, but it's really just a bunch of cheap ties tied together. Okay, wow, that was some climb. This is Don's office. He's not here. Where is he? It looks like Don's rigged his computer to automatically answer his intercom. So we can change it to something else. We want the signature on the paper we need to... In the middle of it, okay, whatever it is, we have to wait. Cripe Saver, just sign it yourself, okay. I'll just change his auto-response here. Ah, oh, Cripe Saver, just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy! Okay, let's go try that out. No, this isn't where I was supposed to go. I'm not walking on the freeway. I shouldn't even be standing here. Eva, I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. Okay. Mr. Copel, Mr. Calavera has something out here that he says he needs your signature on. Ah, oh, 
cripe saver. Just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy. Ooh. Yes. You'll have to excuse him, Manny. It's probably a really hard crosswood puzzle he's got in there today. <laughs> Does seriously? Everyone's so sassy. <laughs> Eva, I'm impressed. I had no idea you had this kind of power. Well, we all have our secrets. Wow, okay. Hey, I look good in this, don't I? <laughs> yeah, well, they say black is slimming. I'm driving, yeah! I'm driving! <laughs> it's like he's never driven before, really? Favor. I could have walked faster than this. Uh, híjole, I'm gonna miss the poisoning. Domino. <laughs> the living still give me the creeps. Christ. I love the style of this, like the world of the living seems completely absurd to these people. It's the fear of death that makes monsters of us all. <laughs> Scaring the living is technically against the rules, but we all do it. <laughs> of course we do. I can't reap hamburger, cows, or a whole other bureau, not to mention the lettuce. <laughs> Who reaps lettuce? A little man came out. Nice bathrobe. But we offer several travel package upgrades if you care to cut the yeah. I want something cheap where I can get some rest on that. So they had Pajamas that size in the no car? I could make this car a little faster. If you want it. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Oh, yeah. Slam the front into the weeds. Uh oh, the Gladys. End. Two blowers popping out of the hood. Don't get too excited now. Your eyes were looking a little crazy you'll get there. Plenty of rest this way, Mr. Martinez, and you'll be safely padded by the foam created when these two chemicals mix like this. Oh, on second thought, I want to upgrade my pack. Yeah, I would want Sorry, to upgrade Bruno, my travel package in that case too. For anything better, but here, have this complimentary mug. No, wait! Uh, can't you find me something where I can move my legs? You know I'd like to, Bruno. But my boss is a real hard ass. I gotta be a hard ass when I got lazy sickle waivers like this jolly boy working for me. Manny, you couldn't find a sale at a yacht club. No more of that sass. Right Do you here? get like really I'm mean when you become a skeleton or what is it? Era, like the kind Domino makes. How am I supposed to make premium sales with the scumbag clients? You're nice mustache. Hey! Now you're blaming the clients? I've had it with you, Manny. If you haven't bagged a premium before the next sales report comes in, you're out! Uh -oh. Out on the street. No job. No way to work off your time. Just your fancy suit and your big smile. Is this the only job in the world? Or how do people generally work off their Who time? Are you calling a scumbag? Why, I ought to... What did he even do to get stuck here? <sighs> I'm sick of waiting around for a good lead. Like it's gonna fly in here tied to a brick. It's time to take one. Well, at least you're not hitting the bottle anymore. Hey, Callie, how you doing? So, how'd you make out of the poisoning? Well, let's just say that Sister Calabaza has a secret passion. For trains. You got a nun? Hail Mary. And you sold her a ticket on the number nine train. Choo-choo, little buddy. Say, how'd you score? 
I got a mean midget I had to send parcel post. Ah, cheer up, buddy. Another day, another death. Am I right? I want to ask you a question. Shoot, slugger. Is it hard to kiss up yeah, to the let's, let's go so with it. much when you got no lips? Hey, I got all the lip I need. I get it. For Apparently, you. you have to be extra sassy in this world, so let's just roll with it. What did you do to get this job? You mean, what's my secret to success? No, I mean, how did you screw up and get stuck here at the DOD? What sin did you commit and how long are you going to have to work here to pay it off? Well, I could easily ask the same question of you. But I don't know the answer. I still don't know what I've done. Well, how convenient. Then, uh, neither do I. Well, that's all I wanted to ask. For now. Well, kid, come back anytime you feel like continuing your education. I want to punch you in the mouth. Oh, no. Not the Christmas party all over again. <laughs> Christmas party? What happened at the Christmas party? Blacked out on the whole thing, huh? Maybe you should switch to lemonade, kid. But if you're made of bone and you don't have any organs, how are you getting drunk with no brain? Well, see you in limbo. Oh, that's great. We should do this more often. Desk drawers? I don't have desk drawers. Hey, get out of there, Calavera. Let's have a drink on him. Yeah, just fake pour that fake liquid out of that fake bottle because you don't have a brain to get drunk on. What's Eva doing? Hey, you missed a great poisoning. Yeah, and you missed a great client. Domino came back from there with a nun. Híjole, I got a tiny little man with a mean temper and no commission. Well, at least you don't work for one. <laughs> you know, Copal's not really in his office. Sweetheart, I know what you're up to. Huh? You're trying to get me away from my desk so you can link all my paper clips together again. Grow <laughs> up, darling. <laughs> Seems I'm a really charming person. So, you going to the Christmas party? After the spectacle you made of yourself last year, I wouldn't miss it for the world. In my heart, though, you're still my secretary. Manny, what are you talking about? I was never your secretary, even when you were on top. I got so one I was boss, on top at some same point. Same as you, Don Copel. Come on, I know you work for another man besides Don. Well, well, what are you talking about? I know you take memos for Hurley sometimes. Ah, oh, Manny, just beat it, will ya? Oh no, she's working for someone. She was stammering right there. So we need to get a client for Manny. So he doesn't get fired. But where are we going to get any more clients now that the poisoning's over? Never get out of this place. There is another demon? You and your fancy suits and your nose holes way up in the air, sticking your empty beer bottles down the message tubes. How fancy is that? Huh? Don't you boys upstairs realize the tube switcher is a sophisticated There's something funky going on with your lips, man. Huh? You think you're better than me? No. Good. Seriously, everyone's on edge like all the time. I bet they can do it because they don't have a heart, so they don't have blood pressure issues either. Warning. Fire system. Do not touch. Oh, it says do not touch? Of course we're gonna touch. Thank you. So that's the thing that relays the bottle messages from one place to another. I'm digging the music. Really industrious. Okay, so he said something about sticking empty beer bottles down the tubes. So where do we find beer bottles? Is there something here that we can use? How about you? My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, uh, jeez. What now? A cat, a dingo, and a dead worm. What's a dead, a dead worm? worm? Heck, that's easy. There's no limit on those. Oh, oh. The chemical that we used to pack the little guy up with. If we put those chemicals in the dead worms and put them down the tubes, then the thing's gonna break, hopefully. Now to the, to the place with the chemical pumps. Yes. For those who enjoy no-hassle travel, no? You in one of these? Must have picked them up already. 
Okay, so blue one first. Now to stick these down my message tube. Yeah, that was it. Here we go. Yes. That doesn't sound good. Yeah, now it's all coming back to me. I've just locked an open door. Strange, yet symbolically compelling. Oh, not again! You tried to blow this joint sky high? That's a magnesium compound fire extinguisher! Spray that on this packing foam and we'll both be riding the giant Roman candle uh -huh. out of here! Okay, what? thank you for the idea. Why would they put something so dangerous in here? I guess they didn't expect this room to be full of hazardous waste! Ah, he had a card like that so he could stop the messages from flowing through the tubes while he was working on it. So we need something like that so we can steal a message. I want to see if this one thing can work. So he said, if I do this... Warning. Fire system. Do not touch. If I do this, it should go boom. That's not on fire. Well, I That's want to do it anyway. Fire. That's not on fire. God damn it. But uh, hey, uh, hey. We have a card. This deck of cards is a little frayed around the edges. Then again, so am I. And I've got fewer suits. Okay, so now I got a card. And since we locked the door before it closed it. Wow, that was some funky animation though. I couldn't play this card there. What do you mean? Hmm, too much air pressure. Okay. So too much air pressure means you gotta punch some holes in it. Okay, so if we pick out a card. Another ace. Didn't just lose it in the tube. Manny, what are you doing? Just marking cards, honey. So wait, you punched once and got six random holes on it. Okay, that's some weird hole punch you got there. Mercedes Colomar, client number 9308, blah, 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 died of chicken pox, time of death, yada, yada, yada. Aha, positive attributes, volunteer time, reading stories to dying children. That's good. That's really good. I think you're it, Mercedes Colomar. I think you're the one for me. Gladys, are you loco? What got into you? That was a company car. <laughs> oh man, he went full overboard with that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Serves you right, asshole. <laughs> wow, he went all balls to the wall with it. Buenos dias. You're not the nurse? No. You're not here to give me my medication? No, but I am here to ease your pain. Guess they couldn't save me, huh? No. 
but there's still a chance you could save me. Where do they get all their clothes? Like, do they have just massive wardrobes lying around they can give to their clients when they come in? Colomar. Meche, please. Meche, I can see it in your face and in your file here, where it says you're entitled to a first-class ticket to... Nowhere? What, that can't be it. What? Did I do something wrong? Not according to your bio. It was spotless. At least the part I read was. I'm not sure I like the implication, Mr. Calavera. Are you sure you're Mercedes Colomar? Yes. Would you like to see my birthmark? Sure. Where is it? It's wherever you guys put my skin. <laughs> Anything about your past you haven't told me? Quite a bit, considering I've told you nothing. Did you kill much when you were alive? Very little. Never killed anybody? I have to confess, I never killed anybody. Not even a teensy bit of killing? Maybe I just wasn't trying hard enough. <laughs> yeah, that's gotta be it. Mean to animals? Oh no, I love animals. Once, when I was volunteering at an animal shelter, I... Just stop right there. Ever cheated on your husband? Mr. Calavera, there's no ring on my finger. There's no skin on it either. I guess you'll just have to <laughs> trust me then. <sighs> Litter? Oh, Manny, is that the best you can do? I give up. Don't say that, Manny. Excuse me, but I have to go straighten this mess out. Sorry to be so much trouble, Mr. Calavera. It's no trouble, but please, call me Manny. My computer gives me instant access to our database of deadbeats. So our computer's gotta be broken somehow. I'm sorry I let you down, Manny. So do I need to fix my computer now? Hey, nope, body nope. bones! More in my office! Now! You vandalized company property in order yes. to obtain secret information. Absolutely. So you can take your illegally modified company car and your unregistered driver and run Domino here off the road. Yep, that was All the point. In order to steal a client from her legitimate agent. There's nothing legitimate about this place. You give all the good clients to Domino. Yeah. Manny, now the I'm red pipe was going to him. You've embarrassed the whole office. I'm going to call the woman in here so you can apologize to her yourself. Ava, send in Ms. Colomar, please. She left about 15 minutes ago, sir. She said she had a long walk ahead of her and she wanted to get started. Walking? She had a ticket on the number nine. Why does she think she has to walk? That's the best package I could find for her. <laughs> now you see why I give all the good clients to Oh, Domino. So you do give all the good clients to him. That woman was a saint and a shoo-in for a double-end ticket that she's not going to get because you just couldn't find it. And now, because of your little stunt, she's out there, on her own, walking All by herself through the petrified forest, facing the demons of the underworld, alone and unprotected. This is her reward after a lifetime of hardship and public service? Her destiny stolen by some overreaching salesman looking for a fat commission he didn't deserve! Yeah, well, he's got a point there. Get in there and stay put until the boys downtown tell us what they want done with you. Someone's gonna take the fall for this, Calavera, and it ain't gonna be me! Hello? I don't see anyone out there. Can we just leave here? Can we just climb out the window? Hey! Is anybody out there? Ooh, a mysterious stranger. So, Manuel, have you thought about what you have done? Well, with the appearance of the mysterious stranger, I think it's time to end this first episode here. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. I remember I used to play this game as a kid, and I just spent so much time walking from place to place because I just wanted to listen to the music and kind of feel the atmosphere and just get into the groove of things. And the characters here are really, well, they're campy and they're funny, but they also have this kind of charisma that you don't find in video games too often. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and click the notification bell so you won't miss any new episodes once they come out. Thank you for hanging out with me. I've been Tuli in Grim Fandango, and I hope to catch you all in the next video. Bye bye!